In this video, I'll be sharing the gear we use on almost every shoot. As technology advances, we're continuously upgrading our gear. Specific brands and models aren't as important. However, all of this equipment has a distinct role in helping us produce efficient, professional, and high-quality work. Camera. We use two cameras for filming interviews so that we can cut to different angles while editing. Here are a few attributes we make sure our cameras have. 4K recording. The ability to film in a variety of frame rates. Good low light performance. Wide dynamic range. Good autofocus. And backup recording. Lenses. Standard zoom lens. This is an all-purpose lens we use for A-cam during interviews. The ability to zoom also makes it easy to get a variety of shots while filming B-roll. Wide-angle lens. This one is great for using on a gimbal to capture interior shots. Telephoto lens. We use this lens for our B-cam during interviews. The low aperture allows us to achieve a very shallow depth of field, aka a blurry background. Telephoto zoom lens. It's useful for zooming in on a subject from a distance. For example, a keynote presentation. During interviews, it can also create a nice shallow depth of field. ND filter. ND filter stands for Neutral Density Filter. It reduces the amount of light entering the lens and when filming outside, allows us to use a wider aperture to achieve a shallow depth of field. Camera monitor. Instead of the small camera screen, this gives you a larger screen to see what you're filming. Because the screen is brighter than the cameras, it makes it easier to film outside in the sunlight. We can use a preview LUT, which shows us what the camera's log footage will look like when color corrected. It also offers some additional functionality for measuring exposure. We regularly use false color monitoring, which displays exposure levels as different colors on the screen. White balance card. Using a white balance card is our preferred method of setting white balance. We set the camera's white balance whenever we film in a new location or change the lighting. Setting the camera's white balance ensures the colors are accurate. Cleaning kit. Each time we shoot, we use an air blower to clean the dust off the camera's sensor and the lens's glass. Our kit also has a microfiber cloth, lens pen, and sensor cleaning swab. Gimbal. An electronic gimbal stabilizes the camera on three different axes. Pitch, yaw, and roll. You'll find us using this for walkthrough shots of a building, or when we want to capture dynamic movements for B-roll of a subject. Tripods. For interviews, we put the cameras on tripods that have a center column. This makes it easy to adjust the exact height we want. We also use a ball leveling head because it makes it easier to level the camera without having to individually adjust the legs. Microphone. If we have the option, we prefer shooting with a mic on a boom pole versus a lav mic. When filming indoors, we use a short condenser mic because its pickup pattern is more forgiving for sound reflections bouncing off the wall and back into the mic. For outside filming, we use a shotgun mic which is a directional mic that rejects sounds coming from the side. This helps isolate the speaker from any ambient noise in the environment. Boom pole. This is an extendable pole to hold the microphone over the subject. Mixer recorder. This device records the audio from the microphone and allows us to adjust the audio levels. Our mics require phantom power, meaning they need an electrical current to operate. We connect our microphone to the mixer recorder via XLR cable. Sound blankets. When placed around a room, sound blankets will reduce any echo. Key light. A key light is the term for the main light on a subject. We use a key light for lighting our interviews. Softbox. A softbox is a light modifier that turns the key light into a large soft light source. Soft light is preferred for interviews because it makes shadows less harsh and is more flattering on the subject. Hair light. A hair light is placed behind the subject, helping to separate the subject from the background. Reflector. A reflector allows us to reduce shadows by bouncing light back onto a subject's face. Light stands. We have a variety of light stands to hold lights, light modifiers, 
boom poles, and other equipment. Grip Bag A grip is a role on a film set for the person who helps set up lighting. Our grip bag is filled with various clamps, tools, gaff tape, and other things that might help us on the day of production. Power Extension Cables We always have several extension cables and power strips for plugging in multiple lights to one outlet. Sandbags In case we bump into a light stand, we use sandbags to help keep them sturdy and safe. Drone We use a drone to capture establishing shots of a location. Foldable cart. A foldable cart helps us easily get all of our equipment on site. SD cards. All of our equipment uses SD or micro SD cards. Our cameras have two SD card slots so we can record to both simultaneously as a backup. Extra batteries. We always bring extra batteries so we can film all day without needing to charge. All of this gear works together to give us the end product we're looking for. If you have any questions about the equipment we use, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.